space problem. I will adjust the problem one minute. There is some statement written there which you cannot see. Okay, no problem. I will manage it. Just a minute. Some space and adjust. This is fully visible. Fully visible. Something written there is not visible. Mm, I think I will write it. Uh, Slightly I think increase the size. Slight increase. Okay, now, but now, okay. Now, okay, one minute. I can use full board. It comes for almost full board. Slightly more on me. Just little adjustment. Yes, now just a minute over. Now perfect, I think the most good. Yes, perfect. I think after I can go there, that mark. Everything okay? Up to it. You can take up here. Because full board it and think I just the board. Okay. Up to here, no problem. Further this side, up to here. Okay, one minute. That is visible. Case number, standard cases, yes, everything visible. Now I want key. Voice fully audible. Comment first. Voice and video and audio both fully clear. Display also clear. And voice also clear. Both clear. Okay. Okay. I'll start now. You should write a heading here. There is no place to write heading. I will dictate the heading here. As per the what you call thumbnail. Actually, it is called, th I don't use the word thumbnail like that. See, when I send the notification or give the link, you can see there, BSK class number. And other way, the photo, what comes there? Analysis of statically indeterminate structure, class number, leave it now. Then I wrote something, basic requirement for displacement methods, slope deflection method, moment distribution method, and Kani's method. Okay, write heading there. Now you write. All basic requirement for displacement methods, namely our syllabus is moment distribution. Uh, sorry, first you should tell slope reflection. Slope reflection method, moment distribution method, and Khan is rotation contribution method. Clear? Put a separate heading so that in future, if you want these three methods, either for academic purpose or teaching purpose or learning purpose or anything. You study thoroughly this portion from today. Clear? Little fast comment because today network some problem is there. So if it is clear, in between two, three times, afternoon, there was no Wi-Fi here. But now it is okay. Why? You heard it, what I told? Heard what I told? You tell yes, me it's okay. 
This is to confirm that voice is clear. See, you are not commenting as usual. One yes means I can proceed. See, again, because I don't know. If there, is, there was a Wi-Fi problem today. I don't know why. Some in between, two, three times. Ah, yes, okay. Now, see, first right. I am, see, you can see some places, class, 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 class. Wherever I wrote class, what I am dictating, you have to write. Remember, you have to write it and make a fair copy, pakka fair copy. Systematic fair copy make here. Some words are there. What words I tell, you should write that one. Because otherwise, what happens is, see, I am showing anti-clockwise here, clockwise here. When I go to couples, I will show both clockwise or both anti-clockwise. When I go to delta case, again I will put either both clockwise or both anti-clockwise. And some sign direction trick will be there. When I go to rotation, again I will put direction. Once I will tell member goes this way, so anti-clockwise. Next I will tell member goes this way, therefore clockwise. You should know correctly the difference. So everything today I will cover. Tomorrow I will give all the examples for starting. Today only, if time permits, after all expressions are over, I will start examples. Okay, start. First, number one requirement for any displacement method, you should write everything. And later, when I tell class means, for this sketch what I tell, that you have to write. See. For any displacement method, in the bracket, our present syllabus, Slope reflection method, short form, SDM, moment distribution method, MDM, Kanium, there is no Kanium. So, Kani's method, what to do? Okay. Or Kanium, okay. Kani apostrophe SM. We require fixed end moments. What we do there is, for all the methods, we, where our support is given, we consider them as fixed. Irrespective of whether the given support is fixed support or simple support or roller support or hinged support, any support let them give. See, in a question, it can you write this also. Question can be given like this. Here, this is absolutely fixed. This is a simple support at the end. This is not simple support. It is called intermediate support. I will tell you in the method. See. You write A, B, C. Three supports are there. What you do is fix it absolutely fixed. Simple support. This is intermediate support. But when you find fixed end moment, irrespective of that, whether fixed support given or simple support given or hinge support given, roller support given or intermediate support given, whatever given. Consider A, B as fixed beam. Then, consider B, C as fixed beam. Now, right here. By chance, if there is a overhang here, C, D. I told supports are considered fixed. There is no support here. So, when you consider C, D, C is supported, fixed. This is nothing. So, what will happen? Tell me. When both ends are supported, it will become Fixed beam. Fixed beam, general knowledge means what? Both, when you, you, when you call a beam fixed beam, when both ends are fixed, it is called fixed beam. So, when both ends are supported, it will become fixed beam. When only one side support is there, tell me what it will become. Where support is there, you take fixed. Where support is there, take fixed. So, if only one side support there, other side no support. It will not become fixed. It will become cantilever. Uh, now same way. Suppose, imagine. Write one more. Okay, this is one, one case. Or, imagine left side overhang given. Something like this. Continue. Okay, now, A, B, C. Now, B, C, both are supported, fixed. A, B, A is su not supported. B is supported, fixed. That way. So, a member which is supported at both ends. Supported, I told. No, you never bother about type of support. When you find fixed end moments, 
you should not discuss what is the type of support that will come in the method see actually it is not fixed it is not fixed so some rotation will be there that we will account in the method corrections are there but initially when wherever support is there take fixed if member is supported at both ends it will become fixed beam if member is supported only at one end where it is supported will become fixed other become free it will become cantilever is the concept clear write this is the concept clear write this very systematically concept clear later i may try to trap when you find fpm i will ask you what is the type of support you should hit back me you tell don't bother when you find fpm do not discuss about support conditions over now so, this is one aspect though when you consider that fixity at the support some beams becomes both end fixed it become fixed beam some rarely you get cantilever what you require is reacting moment at the ends that is if it is fixed beam it is called fixed end moments standard expressions for fixed end moment class so here i am giving standard expressions for fixed end moment see i am continuing statement now see class when when you should write now when both ends are fixed very very important these standard expressions are not applicable for cantilever that is statically determinate so that is later second round cantilever case second round so class means standard expressions for fixed end moment class when both ends are fixed or when you solve a beam or frame when both are supported it will become fixed beam then how to find fixed end moments that is reacting moments at the ends now first case one class transverse loading right here any type of load or transfer you can call either transverse loading or load normal to member or further i am telling in the class now or if a horizontal member is there vertical load if a vertical member is there horizontal load or load acting perpendicular to member which will cause bending see this way so transverse load any type class case one i told transverse loading i wrote here it can be point load it can be udl or it can be uvl i am telling any type of load but important load normal to member and make a note this what i am giving now is not valid for couples see not valid for couples you should write not valid for couples not valid for couples then for couples separate part is coming after i finish case 1 when i go to case 2 i am considering couples at that time i will tell couples okay that also make a note don't mix up now see when a beam is subjected to loading it will bend like this if it is simply supported so reacting moments for loading not for couple will be see here it will be clockwise here anti clockwise here or these are the fpm for which case point load see any load point load udl uvl as long as load is perpendicular to member now one side anti clockwise one side clockwise important note given in the class the two fpms you should write it the two fpms are opposite in direction see when you analyze displacement method initially direction will come lastly bending moment diagram then sagging hogging will come see they are opposite now there is a crude method those who find difficulty actually i do not want to tell crude method very simple see if there is a member this way you apply any loading any loading suppose you got difficulty for deciding a pm i will tell what to do crude method 
and this is only for loading i told you these are all for loading not couple you put closing bracket this way closing bracket some people they show fpm not that way i'll tell you some this way they show don't write that way you mark closing bracket see now load is upper side load is upper side if the load is that side arrows you put on the other side over see now suppose there is a member which is like this column load applied like this see you once again put the closing bracket or look from that side load is this side see here if you turn it will become a beam arrows on the other side or if there is a vertical member load from this side given see you closing bracket load is that side arrow should be on the other side crystal clear make this note is the concept crude method also crystal clear where is the mobile i kept the chat mobile i here is it crystal clear how to decide direction for what for loading this is not for couples this is for loading i told okay start now one by one you start first a subdivision you remember everything is under case one any loading this is fixed now nobody can change it okay start a concentrated load or point load here capital w see capital w is the magnitude of the load some people tell p i want w only see point load i use capital w udl i write small w but udl i write what w per unit length you can make out i do not want change the symbol okay capital w okay now first different cases are there yeah, uh, there see different two cases are there see no numbering first send see this is the point load don't go that side once you finish that one go there central point load means load is exactly center ready if the span is l l by 2 l by 2 anti clockwise here clockwise here i already told you now i won't discuss formula is w l by 8 remember simple support beam w l by 4 is something else that is the bending moment there this is fixed end moment w l by 8 now remember w l by 8 as w l by 8 only no l square remember w l by 8 how to remember remember w l by 8 over now second case eccentric point load class a load eccentric means you should write load can be anywhere it can be center suppose the load is center you can use this formula it will once again give back this answer you anywhere means eccentric no restriction anywhere in the span okay right you should write no space here right a is distance of load from here see here a is no place right you should write a is a and b are distances of the loads from in our class from left end and right end as per this sketch or w this is a this is b span is l now fpms like this over how to remember that you remember wl by 8 remember as wl by 8 only but here not that way remember by words not formula see this is w a b square by l square w b a square by l square but do one thing instead of that way remember by words i will tell words if you want f p m this side see load is here load into this distance into other distance to be squared this into that square divided by span square see you can see here kilo newton meter meter square will give kilo newton meter cube uh, kilo newton meter cube then what divide by l square will make it kilo newton meter or load into this distance into 
other square. Here also same formula. Load into from here this distance into other square. So this FPM is load W into A into B square by L square here. Load W into B into A square by L square. What all I told in the class words, you should write. Load into where you want that side distance into other to be squared by span square. Clear and clear both. Both clear and clear. Both clear and clear first. Okay, now, now come to UDL, second B. This is A, point load. Come to B, UDL. When you consider UDL, first something I am telling in the class, class, you should write. Expression, standard expression for UDL, in the standard expression for UDL, always intensity considered. Remember, intensity considered. Sometimes deliberately in the question paper, sometimes they will give total UDL load. Then you should divide it by the length and get the intensity. Or your formula, your W stands for intensity of UDL. Load per unit length. Or example, example, kilo newton per meter. Very, very important. In case total load given, you using the total load, you get the intensity. Okay, over. Now, first case, UDL over entire span. Now, one note. In case of UDC, in case of UDL and also for UVL, both are distributed load. Yes or no? UDL and UVL both are distributed load. Defined by intensity. I told again and again. Defined by intensity W. Yes or no? Both are distributed load. Yes or no? Defined by intensity. Intensity very important. Clear or not? UDL or UVL later. Both are defined by intensity. Therefore, remember there. Fixed end moment, when W comes, when W comes, always into L square will come. Make a note. Always W into L square will come, except one special case. Random UDL. Remember, except for random UDL case. Random UDL case also, it comes WL square only. You cannot see. A and B, S, etc. If you write in terms of L, it will become L, L, Q, L square, L, L square, L cube, L, L power 4 by L square. It will come L square. So, except for that random load or randomly placed UDL, or I will tell you, Kannada, Yarra Berry UDL. Kannada, Yarra Berry, Hindi. Jaisa chaho, waisa dalo. Kuch definition nahi. Jaha se abhi shuru karo, jaha se abhi katam karo. That particular case, WL square will not come. It will come only after formula is used. So, remembering point of view, here L square is in denominator. Some will tell, how possible? Sir, wait. The numerator will be in terms of L power 4. Therefore, Therefore, this one particular case, that is Kannada Yarra Berry UDL or randomly placed UDL, do not remember WL square. Otherwise, otherwise, whether it is UDL or UVL, define intensity W, small w, all will come in terms of W into L square. Clear? Except that special case. Make a note. Clear now? W into L square will come. Okay. Now, start. If both are fixed end with UDL, remember, both are equal, 
W L square by 12. How to remember W L square by 12? W L square by 12, remember as W L square by 12 only. Nothing can be done. Okay, start. Now, second case. UDL starting from any one of the ends and extending up to center. Be careful, condition. UDL should start either from left end or from right end. And it should correctly go to center. Neither less nor more. If the span is 10 meter, it should be either on the left side 5 meter or right side 5 meter. Suppose it is 5 meter after a gap, formula is not applicable. Or you can remember that is enter class. Or class condition. It should be either left half or right half. Or right half. Either left start from left side up left half means what? Full beam, left side half, right side half. Suppose UDL length is L by 2, but after a gap it is there, then it is not the standard case. So either starting from here up to center, L by 2, L by 2, or starting from here up to center, L by 2, L by 2. Okay. Now, formula. Remember, both the formulas are whatever right remember wl square is guaranteed so wl square remember for full udl wl square by 12 for half udl left half right half udl it is wl square by 192 this number you have to remember not 12 192 now not over also into a multiplying number is there how to remember one of them is 11, other is 5. One of the multiplying number is 11, other is 5. Now, see there, here, load is on the left side. So, there will be more bending on the left side. Where bending is more, naturally, reacting moment is more. See here, for a fixed beam, any end, if you bend more, reacting moment also will be more. Therefore, you can remember, WL square guaranteed divided by 192 multiplying number one of them is 11 other is 5 where bending is more or which side load is predominant that side higher value 11 here 11 here and 5 here if it is this way case load is on the right side so high bending on the right side so right side higher moment 11 right side 5 left side. These two are so clear. This and this. Both are clear. First. Both are clear. First, first. Okay. Now, lastly, one UDL starting anywhere, ending anywhere, or any random placing. Something in the class, you write there. Kannada language, Yarra Berri, Hindi, Jesa, Manchaho, Vaisa Dalu. No condition, full span, half span, starting, nothing. Randomly for a beam, anywhere you start, anywhere you end. This is a special formula. Derivation is not done. This is taken from SP16. But we checked it, I checked it. I checked it. Okay, now. See, class, this is general formula. This formula can be used here or here. If you use that formula here, you get these two answers. If you use that formula for this one, you get this answer. This is a general case. So, class, I told, everywhere you place and no condition of placing. And remember, one more thing in the class. This is the place where W into L square will not come in the formula. This is the only place for UDL or UVL where WL square will not come. It will come after you simplify. Okay, start. Now, what you do is something required. See, span is L. Don't see other things. Span is L. You start the road randomly, end the load randomly. Now, there is going to be some loaded length. 
S stands for loaded length. Remember, loaded length. For what length the load is applied? That is S. Okay. Now, S stands for loaded length. W I told intensity. Then, come to center of the C. Center of U D L. Draw a light line here. Okay. Now, the center of the U D L where resultant load will pass. Let it be A from left end and B from right end. Remember, for point load. A and B are where point load is acting. Here, A and B are where resultant load is acting. Clear? You should write A and B are where resultant U D L is acting through center. This also clear. Tell the part. What is A and B? Clear? What is A and B? No answer. A and B. I told where resultant load is passing. One, I am confirming for voice clarity. No comment. Ah, yes, okay. Now, this formula, lengthy formula. See, W S by 12 L square into this is big bracket. See, this is big bracket, and this is mini bracket. Mini bracket here. This is big bracket. This is mini bracket. Or this formula difficult to by heart. You can write how solve it, sir. Sir, how to remember, sir? W S by 12 L square, 12 A B square, sir. A B confusion. No, I will tell in words. See, what I tell in words, you write in the book. See, both the places common writing, formula writing for both the loads common writing. See, whether you want left side or right side, formula is intensity of load. W W multiplied by loaded length. Yes, yes. Divided by twelve. Why twelve? Formula twelve. That twelve is not this twelve. Divided by twelve. And here twelve L square denominator. So intensity of load into loaded length divided by twelve divided by span square. Now, open the main bracket, main bracket. Then, formula is once again 12 into this into that square. 12 into 12 is 12. This into that square. Now see, 12 into a into b square. Here see, 12 into from here b into a square. Uh, plus. Square of the loaded length, common. Square of the loaded length into mini bracket. Mini bracket is span L minus three, three times other distance. See here once again. This one intensity W into loaded length S yes, divided by 12 L square into mega bracket, big bracket. 12 into A into B square. By L square plus loaded length square S square into mini bracket length minus three times other distance B here see see here W intensity loaded length S yes, divided by twelve divided by L square into twelve into B into A square divided by uh, to B into A square plus Loaded length square, s square into l minus three into y. This also thoroughly clear. This is what I told words. Tell me, full thoroughly clear. This is nothing can be done. Okay. Now those who want can do one thing. See, can I apply this formula for this one? Tell me. If you make a note outside. To check the formula, this formula you apply here. Then tell me y is equal to. This is extra note for you. Those who are serious, substitute y. Yes. If I use this formula, put this case. Substitute y is equal to. Tell part. Substitute y is equal to y and y and b both equal to. 
yes c cordial a and b are center of the load from ends a and b both equal to a and b both equal to l by 2 substitute answer will come i will calculate one minute wl square by 12 okay correct can i apply the same formula for this one don't apply why simplify it tell me substitute s equal to if i want for this one substitute s equal to substitute s equal to here the pi want for this one you can use that one but don't use substitute s equal to l by 2 tell a equal to center of udl from here center of udl from left end a equal to a equal to not l by 2 l by 4 b equal to b equal to b equal to First, first, if this is L by 4, B equal to, from other side center, it is not B equal to, this much time for B, left side is center is L by 4, from right side, B equal to, what you are doing, B equal to, this is very bad, this much time tell the answer, from left side L by 4 means from right side. 3 L by 4. Substitute. I will use new calculator. 11 by 192. 5 by 192. W L square will come. My guarantee. Or you can use for this also. Then your B equal to L by 4. A equal to 3 L by 4. Their level will come here 5. Ah, came, came. Oh, it is telling calculator. Came, came, came. Okay, thank you. Over. Now, point load either center or eccentric. UDL, either full span or left half, right half or randomly placed. Everything crystal clear means I will rub the board and start UVL and then I will tell for couples, then I will tell for support settlement, finish all the standard formula. Tell me, if crystal clear, if what I wrote, take a beautiful screenshot, take a screenshot, but you take a drawing sheet and write. Take a screenshot and in a drawing sheet, write everything. Shall I rub the full board? Tell me first. Shall I rub the full board? Now it will not come. Full board, can I rub? Some people join now. Those who join now, what all I told earlier, you should study. Otherwise, you are only responsible for not understanding. My class, come in time, attend and complete. It will be clear. I will see that you will have no difficulty for FPMs later. No difficulty for SD method, MD method and Kani's method if you correctly follow the class. Clear? Okay. I will rub the board. Another, it will take two, three minutes. And talk in a high voice. Shall I rub the board and come after some four, five minutes? So that little rest for me, not a big rest. Little rest for talking so loudly. I will rub the board and start in another four, five minutes. But I will write in front of you only. Okay. I will cover the screen because I do not want people to see how I rub it. Because the cloth I am using is fully blackish. <laughs> that is because of not dirty blackish, because of ink stain. Okay. Hello, it is. One minute, I am still rubbing the board only. Break I will take after I finish rubbing. Because using water, 
so it will take some four or five minutes to dry if it is not wet dry you cannot write in the ink then you cannot write but I'll clean the board over board is cleaned now just a minute today many many rounds are there then examples everything if you understand correctly it will be crystal clear those who came late you can mean time you can go backwards and see the beginning what i told if you want really study and understand otherwise do whatever you want Fully cleaned. Okay. Now, I will start the class in another four or five minutes. Okay. Just four or five minutes. I will start. Eight twenty. Eight twenty-five p.m. I will start. Eight twenty-five p.m.
Okay, I'll start. Right now, board is in the place. It is in the Yes, almost right. No problem. Almost right. I can use the paper and make it a little more dry. Paper is in the Ah, sorry. Get a minute. Because the season is summer all no problem. Because within no time, it will become dry. This winter season. Because if it is if little dampness is there, then it won't write. It will be somewhat very fade. Okay. Now, see what all I told earlier, screenshot, explanation, thoroughly study. Okay, now start. New part. Same color I use. Use blue color, red color, and black color. Same sequence I maintain to understand. Okay, okay. Now I will not what what I told. Uh, second round. See, I think point load I put A. Now B. B is no no. No, no, no. I am not putting no no. Actually, what case one means I forgot now. Tell me what I told case one. Case one is loads, yes or no? Case one is loads. Then subdivision, I don't remember what I wrote. Okay. Let me see one minute. One minute. Let me see one minute what I wrote. Because these all I can't buy heart. Uh, A is point load, B is UDL. Okay. I'll continue for C now. That is case one C. Remember, case one C. Okay. Case 1, C now. Now I am continuing. See, your case 1. I won't write what is case 1. I will go for C. C is UVL. That is right. Uniformly varying load. You should write. If you want to learn, you should write. Uniformly varying load. Okay, start. Here also remember, W stands for intensity. Intensity. But what intensity? If it is UDL, intensity is constant. If it is UVL, intensity linearly varies. Therefore, here in the formula for UVL, your W stands for maximum intensity. Remember, it stands for maximum intensity. Remember, over. Now, two cases. One, no subdivision. One of the cases is U, uh, I will use blue color. UVL, UVL starting from one end, any one end, any one end and extending. Allah, start, no, not starting, sorry, sorry. I will put some other way. UVL is first one, see, no, some other way, I will put here. UVL over entire span. Entire span with what? With zero intensity, zero intensity at any one end, any one end and maximum intensity, maximum intensity of W per unit length, unit length at other end other end. That is what? If I write the sketch here in the black color, it will become, see, I'll write here. Span L. Or, I'll put R. L. Now see, here, 1 and 0, any side 0, imagine 0 here, here maximum, see, this way. 0 at one end, maximum other, W per unit length. Or it can be this way. W per unit length. Now remember, what, FPM, as usual, Loading, therefore, without seeing here and there. I told you, for UDL or UVL, 
except for that special case of UDL of random UDL everywhere guaranteed is WL square guaranteed is WL square WL square now if it is half UDL from left top or right top divide by 192 if it, that case see if it is this way or this way there also what WL square WL square here also WL square WL square divide by 192 divide uh, uh, divide by 192 uh, come this side divide by 192 divide by 192 multiplied by one of the number is 11 other is 5 now load is more severe here here more bending so high fpm where load is severe fpm will be more therefore 11 here 5 here load is more there 11 there 5 here already over uh, same way for uvl multiply number is not there remember it is only dividing number it is only dividing number the numbers are 20 and 30 now usually what people will do is sometime in a hurry so here lesser see load is more predominant on the right side heavy loading right side here heavy loading left side so here heavy lesser load here so therefore 20 higher load there therefore 30 what is this that is if you are multiplying see higher load this side 11 lesser load 5 but here we are dividing so when you divide by 20 value is more when you divide by 30 value is lesser so if you want higher value divide by 20 or 30 tell me to get higher moment to get higher rpm eh? top portion not visible why what happened there oh okay okay slightly shifted okay okay Now okay, okay. Stand got slightly shifted. Now okay, okay. Now shall I shift further? Huh? Why? Now it. One inch. Top portion not visible. Okay, one minute. Okay, now I'll sit further. One name, Shah. Okay, okay. I think tripod got uh, now fully okay. Tell me now fully okay. Now, now fully okay. Comment first. Okay, thank you. I think uh, where pull the tripod slightly, that's why shifted. Okay, that's why keep on commenting. Okay, so remember here load is more predominant that side high moment should come here so this is divided by 20 this is divided by 30 here high load here so high moment required this is divided by 20 that is divided by 30 over both are clear tell me both are fully clear where 20 where 30 both are fully clear both are fully clear where 20 where 30 we should be careful dividing numbers both clear you are not answering oh, yes okay now 
there is one more case some will ask sir if it is partial uvl what to do sorry partial uvl no formula if it comes in the method i will tell you by integration you have to do it that i will take up in the method standard is not there now second case sorry and also one more case uvl with zero intensity zero intensity at both ends both ends and maximum intensity intensity of w per unit length unit length at center that is i will put the sketch here now the sketch is see this way fixed year fixed year span l here zero here zero center is maximum this way see this is l by 2 this is l by 2 this comes when the beam is supporting a two way slab and if it is the shorter edge supporting the longer span in rcc remember okay don't worry this is w per unit length maximum intensity now remember this is asymmetrical so one of them is 20 other is 30 here not that way symmetrical so both are equal here also w l square here also w l square now here you should remember one of them divided by 30 other by 20 here not that way both are equal into 5 by 96 into 5 by 96 5 by 96 remember as 5 by 96 only uh. this also clear if clear i will go to couples now if clear i will go to couples this also clear i will go to couples now most important where there is confusion right side not visible why what is the problem okay i don't know why right side what is the problem for camera i set it correctly okay okay can you admit i should slightly i change the position i think no i think i don't know what happened one more one 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 minute okay i should slightly reduce it now if i reduce problem may come one minute ah, okay now now okay okay i won't bother too much now i think somehow it got shifted slightly okay tell now these things i don't know what to do because maybe the tripod is little loose i think now perfect okay 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 anyway always tell me perfect okay remember 5 by 96 uh, both are clear tell me uvl both cases clear fast fast uvl both cases clear if it is clear i will go to most important couples clear okay now case one is over remember case one is for loading i will go for a revision now see i will go for case two this is where you should be careful some note i will tell in the class those who are serious should write every note so that no confusion later when you solve the problems okay no break this time why okay now okay right case 2 very very important case 2 that is couples some people call they will tell this is not couple this is concentrated moment they got their own idea they don't know the real meaning of engineering mechanics i will tell 
with the regret you don't know the basic don't talk that's all couples are okay concentrated moment oh what a beautiful word okay okay now remember couple means what it can be either clockwise or anti clockwise the couple will be called m m is the magnitude of the couple m is magnitude of couple magnitude of couple now before you go further you have to make a very important note see see first i will go that side on the revision case one red color why important is for either point load or udl or uvl okay randomly there it is a load perpendicular to member i told you fpms are like this one side anti clockwise one side clockwise or put the closing bracket load is upper side arrow mark lower side this is only for loads only for loads not for couple uh, i will not i will not tell this again and again that is for loading now come to couples note for a couple for a couple generally generally fpms at both ends both ends are in the same are in the same same direction as that of given couple m given couple m that is if given couple m is clockwise both fpms are generally are also i told are generally clockwise generally clockwise whereas whereas if given couple m is anti clockwise both fpms or i am using generally generally anti clockwise or remember fpms generally in same direction same direction as that of given couple make this note then write something else then write something else i will use red color only then you are right something else red color eh, this i remove now you write red color danger right just now just now he told he means me i he told that if the couple is clockwise both fpms are same direction clockwise if couple is anti clockwise both anti clockwise that is he told this way for a fixed beam if the couple is clockwise m or if the couple is anti clockwise m then he told just now clockwise couple both are clockwise hey you are same as that one anti clockwise both are anti clockwise this is what just now he told but that statement is not true always always if it is always true why should i use the word generally i use the word generally when i generally means what when people tell generally means what majority there are exceptions generally everybody comes in time to the class generally everybody who come to the class attend properly and they make all the notes means not all there are people who are coming and going coming and going visiting for no purpose 
they should learn if they want to learn they should know how to attend the classes okay now so not true there is exemption exemption what is that exemption sometimes sometimes it is possible it is possible that fpm at one of the support not both support at one of the supports one of the support one of the fixed support one of the fixed support can be in a direction in a direction opposite to opposite to that of given couple m couple m that means if the given couple is clockwise both fpms are generally clockwise but rarely one not both one of the ends it is possible that it can be anti clockwise or if the given couple is anti clockwise generally both fpms are anti clockwise but sometimes rarely it is possible that one of the couple can be in clockwise now how to remember it is possible to remember this one but if you try to remember when the reversal will take place it will be confusing so therefore you need not worry about this right you there is there is no need no need of worrying worrying about this reversal reversal means what to assume wrong reversal because reason because it will be taken care you need not bother by what it will be taken care by what tell me it will be taken care by nothing to worry it will be taken care by tell me it will be taken care by what you can make out what it will be taken care by you need not bother this aspect of reversing you need not bother later if time permits it later i will explain why reversal will come uh, no no it will be taken care by no sign by the formula by the formula that's all the formula will take care of it so clear now it will be taken care by the formula it will be taken care by the formula clear now so then people tell oh thank you sir then nothing to worry not thing to worry formula will take care of that one i am writing formula for fpm now the formula for fpm will take care of it you don't have to bother clear now clear or not take and care by the formula so therefore remember for that therefore remember therefore when we consider consider standard formula standard formula consider standard formula we have to always we have to always consider we have to always consider remember i want to again fpms at both ends at both ends bm in fpms at both ends in in the same direction same direction as given couple m given couple m that means if given couple m is clockwise sorry omit that means anywhere if a clockwise couple given m 
यू नेवर सी हियर एंड देर क्लॉक वाइज कपल की बना बोथ आर क्लॉक वाइज और इप एंटी क्लॉक वाइज कपल की बन यम कंसीडर बोथ एज एंटी क्लॉक वाइज दैट सॉल्व सब्ट नाउ राइट कंटिन्यू कंटिन्यू सब्टिट्यूट इन द फॉर्मूला एंड साइलेंटली सॉल्व द प्रॉब्लम if the reversal is there formula will reverse it you need not bother you need not bother clear now you need not bother formula will reverse it okay uh, very important see this much i told i will not repeat this one i first thought let me explain when reversal will come no 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 generally people won't require it okay right over now remember now now i am writing formula and warning before formula warning clockwise couple given both are pm clockwise anti clockwise given both anti clockwise suppose reversal is there formula will take care okay start first couple at center couple at center that is there is a fixed beam of span l a couple m exactly center l by 2 l by 2 it can be either clockwise or it can be anti clockwise anything m puna bari dibdi i write everything see i never miss anything now what to do given couple is clockwise therefore before you change your mind clockwise given hey clockwise given couple anti clockwise anti clockwise remember central couple answer is m by 4 m by 4 no l nothing whatever is the span no effect m by 4 l will not come uh, here reversal chance is not there why reversal chance is not there okay over this is couple at center fully clear fully clear i am going to eccentric couple now fully clear fast fast uh, clear okay now go to second case eccentric couple eccentric couple means you can tell couple anywhere anywhere see fixed beam a clockwise couple m imagine a from here and b from here span is l right m is the magnitude of the couple a and b are distances of the couple from left and right end okay now or it is possible that it can be anti clockwise couple m okay this is a this is b this is l here so many formula is there all formula are same i will tell my formula i write see first of all before formula given clock therefore clockwise anti clockwise therefore anti clockwise clear now given clockwise therefore clockwise given anti clockwise therefore anti clockwise this is clear first first direction clear first direction clear first tell me direction clear or not first no direction no you are not answering first direction how i wrote clear you are not i want to confirm voice clarity that's why i am asking question okay clear now formula see remember this formula by words see eccentric point load formula is load into a into b square that side load into b into a square same way here formula but remember not that way the formula remember words formula is couple m into see if it is a load load into this into that square couple not that way couple m into other distance other if i do here other b divide by l square into bracket 
टू टू टाइम स्पैन टू टाइम स्पैन माइनस थ्री टाइम्स ऑफ वन सेगेन अदर डिस्टेंस सो थ्री टाइम्स बी और इन माई फॉर्मुला इफ आई वॉन्ट कपल हियर ए विल नॉट कम अदर विल कम हियर बी विल नॉट कम हियर सी कपल एम इन टू अदर डिस्टेंस ए डिवाइड बाई स्पैन स्क्वेर इन टू टू टाइम स्पैन माइनस थ्री टाइम्स ऑफ अदर डिस्टेंस बी ओवर हियर ऑल्सो एंटी क्लॉक वाइज कपल एम इन टू अदर डिस्टेंस डिवाइड बाई स्पैन स्क्वेर इन टू टू टाइम स्पैन माइनस थ्री टाइम्स अदर डिस्टेंस दिस इज द फॉर्मुला आई एम यूजिंग कपल एम इफ आई वॉन्ट इन इन टू अदर डिस्टेंस ए डिवाइड बाई स्पैन स्क्वेर टू टाइम स्पैन माइनस थ्री टाइम्स ऑफ अदर डिस्टेंस ए ओवर नौ वाट सम पीपल डू इज यू रिमेबर दिस वे मई क्लास फार्मुला इज कपल इन टू अदर डिस्टेंस डिवेड बै स्पैन स्क्वेर इन टू टू टाइम आफ स्पैन मैनस थ्री टाइम आफ अदर डिस्टेंस ईज द फार्मुला ऐ आम यूसिंग क्लियर दैट इज द फार्मुला ऐ आम यूसिंग ओ सारी 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 प्रिंट मिस्टेक ये 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 ओके प्रिंट मिस्टेक ई टोल कपल इन टू अदर बै स्पैन स्क्वेर इन टू टूल मैनस थ्री ऑफ अदर ओनली ई टोल बै मिस्टेक ई रोट बी ओके नौ करेक्ट प्रिंट मिस्टेक ओके नौ दैट साल यू नौ कीप क्वेट नौ जस्ट फॉर् इंफार्मेशन समटम स्टूडेंट विल टेल सर कन्डदली कॉलेज बेरे फार्मुला और सर सम बुक्स सम अदर फार्मुला हई बर्थ आर् सेम सी सम पीपल वाट दे डू ईज एम बी बै एल स्क्वेर इंटू टू इंटू एल दे रईट ए प्लस बी मैनस थ्री बी देर फार्मुलाज एम बी बै एल स्क्वेर इंटू टू ए टू ए टू बी मैनस थ्री बी इज टू ए मैनस बी दे विल टेल कपल इंटू अदर डिवेड बै स्पैन स्क्वेर इंटू टू टाइम हियर मैनस देर both are same but you don't do this way but they i think that much all they people will not tell have you ever seen people telling that way couple this way words have you seen people telling that way some formulas explaining in words have you seen somewhere usually write the formula do the problem over write the formula do the problem no therefore you stick to my formula couple into other Divided by span square into two times span minus three times other, both are clear. Tell me, both are clear. Reversal. I will tell you when I give example. See that reversal. Not now. I will give when I solve example. Clear, fully clear. If fully clear, we are going to the most important part now. No, no. Not ah, uh, hello, no, no, do ah. Uh, that is other places they don't explain that way. Okay, okay. I thought why that no. Hmm. Fully clear couples. If fully clear, I will go to next part. First, first one not required. Fully clear. See, only for formula nearly two hours. Two minutes people finish it. Okay. Now, right here case one over. Case two over. Case one for loads. Case two for couple. Now come to special cases. Okay, see now. Not special cases. Something very very important. I will not repeat again and again there. When I do it, when later when I tell this example all, I will explain. This much I will not explain. See now. Most. important for important for displacement method displacement methods that is sdm mdm and okay kanium 
and kaniyam kani smitam there is that is called one of the means displacement of support people call properly sinking of support or don't call sinking displacement one of them is translation translation of support or how displacement of support displacement of support support normal to member normal to member normal to member or usually very popular very popular word used is sinking of support sinking of support that is a popular word sinking of support see now consider a fixed beam consider a fixed beam span l i won't write fit me spaniel i will call this as ab ab now due to some reason either support a or support b will either sink or go up anything so let delta c delta b displacement displacement means what linear displacement linear not angular displacement of one end any one end with respect to other remember displacement of be very careful displacement of very important displacement of one end one end with respect to other it is a linear quantity with respect to other now i will when i go to example i will tell you easy method how to identify now not right now when i tell sometime support a sinks support b sinks what happens support a sinks support b is not sinking or support a is not sinking support b sinks i will tell support a comes down support b goes up support a goes up support b comes down this all i will tell you when i take example right now delta is displacement linear means what it is like vertical for horizontal member vertical perpendicular member displacement means what linear means of one see that is perpendicular to member perpendicular to member that is horizontal member vertical displacement vertical member horizontal displacement okay now i will write here this i'll remove now i'll write here that is see two cases are there see that is see here suppose imagine support a is here fixed this is the initial position imagine due to some reason the support came down this way now elastic curve will be red color i will write this way now you draw one more parallel line here see therefore this is called delta how much this point displaced from here so this you can tell in two different ways you can write you can stand at left end and tell right end went down by delta or you can stand here see you can put one line here also no problem you can put, you can stand here and tell left end gone up by delta both are same see you correct right you if you stand here you tell that came down by delta or you stand here and tell that side went up by delta right suppose you are in the fifth floor fifth floor then if you go to seventh floor somebody standing in seventh floor 
will tell he is coming towards me somebody in the third floor will tell he is going away from me yes or no he is going fifth floor to seventh floor somebody who is upper side will tell he is coming towards me somebody lower side he will tell he is going away he will tell now he is coming near and near to me he will tell and he is going away and away from me yes or no okay now more example during numerical what we want is we want fpm how fpm means see first remember principle these all derived yesterday class yesterday class all these are derived see here if the beam is fixed at both ends if the support sinks here see elastic curve comes this way see now i am applying anti clockwise here here also anti clockwise therefore remember both fpms are in the same direction see here this way here this way or first remember make a note both fpms are same direction see and both the fpms are equal to 6 into ei delta by l square formula you have to remember 6 ei delta by l square this is one of the case uh, second case i'll write here okay see second case i'll do one thing imagine support is here this support went up elastic curve will come you can do one thing you can put one line here also see this is delta see here i wrote here this is your delta anisha disturb aagta ide ini separate sketch actually this is delta anti clockwise okay here don't see that side here you can do one thing put one line here also you can call this as in two different ways those who stand at left end will tell right side has gone up by delta he will tell right side has gone up by delta or those who are standing here will tell left side has gone down by delta so here with respect to left end right end is below here with respect to left end right end is above here with respect to right end left end is above with respect to right end left end is below fully clear do not tell up and down clear okay now also see now see the moments fpms see now this is a case what happened now see this has gone up see now elastic curve is this way here what clockwise here also clockwise for me it looks anti clockwise no problem you worry about yourself only oh for sir it looks anti i you don't bother about me see clockwise here and clockwise here these all we proved yesterday the answers we proved yesterday but here both are clockwise fpms are once again 6 ei delta by l square 6 ei delta by l square this is a formula for settlement of support when there is a displacement perpendicular member of one end delta is relative remember delta is relative uh, how to get delta i will explain in examples in examples i will explain correctly that is tomorrow full examples tomorrow for every loading point load udl uvl full tomorrow numericals tomorrow fully numericals i will put there numericals for finding fpm tomorrow okay this is also clear now i will tell you a crude method do you want crude method do you want crude method tell me do you want crude method to remember or one minute crude method i will tell you in the end of the class okay end of the class i will tell you crude method not now little later so i will do one thing now 
I will remove this one now. I will put it here. So that when I go to crude method or easy method, everything is clear. See, I will do one thing. Hey, I will do one thing. Ange or I will explain later. All or all the PMs are what? FMs are 6 EI delta by L square direction I explain to you but I will give an easy trick a trick I will tell in the end this is for what this is for delta case I will tell you this is for delta case delta case okay I will come to you later let me go to other one the most powerful for force method, displacement method during derivation. Later problem you are solving. See, now, consider a case. Consider a case. Now do one thing. Tell goodbye. Bye, bye. I will come later. I will come later. Bye, bye. Tell. You wait there. Okay, start. Imagine, consider a case. Consider, you should write one pinned end and other fixed end. Pinned are simple support. I will call A and B if I want. A and B. Now, see, I will apply a moment here, MA. MA. So that this will rotate by theta A. See, if I apply a moment here, this will rotate in the clockwise direction. Elastic curve goes this way. I use red color for elastic curve. Elastic curve goes this way. Now, if I draw a tangent here, then this is your theta A. Theta A. This is called rotation of support. Rotation of support. That is called Normal displacement of support. This is normal displacement of support. Of support. Here, this is called rotation of support. Left hand theta A. Then, you require a clockwise moment here. Yesterday proved equal to what? Equal to 4 EI by L into theta a. Remember, this we proved yesterday that the moment is 4 ei by l into theta a. Then, a moment will come here also. Same direction. If you apply clockwise here, same clockwise. That mb equal to, it is 2 ei by l into theta a only because of this theta. It is actually half. This MB is half of MA. Now remember, point A is called near end. Near end. This B is called far end. This is standard. You, you are operating at A. No D. A you are operating. Okay. Or it is possible that, see here, it is possible that that Couple can be anti-clockwise. See. I will apply MA only. MA. Now the beam will bend like this. Elastic or red color. Beam will bend like this. If I draw a tangent here, it is anti-clockwise. Theta A. No plus minus. Then this MA once again equal to 4 EI by L into theta A. Then there will be moment here. If it is anti-clockwise, here also anti-clockwise, mb, mb equal to 2ei by l into theta a only. That is, your mb is half of ma. Remember, here also, your a is near end. 
A is near end, where rotation is there. B is far end. Far end. And just to understand, do one thing. Take A fixed. Everything to be clear. See, I never leave anything pending. I told you, when I cover a subject, I cover everything. Okay, now, A is fixed. B is pinned. Now, you take B as near end. Near end. Then your A will become far end. Far end. Now, operation at B. This is, remember, rotation at A. Rotation at near end A. Near end A. This is also rotation at near end only. Rotation, where you are rotating, that will become near end, remember. Rotation at near end A. Near end B. It can rotate in clockwise direction. Theta B. Elastic curve will come this way. Now, if it is clockwise, now moment required here will be 4 EI by L into theta b and here half the value if it is clockwise here also clockwise of mb i wrote ma mb yes this is mb mb equal to ma equal to half of that one 2 ei by l into half of that one theta b only theta a is zero or remember your ma equal to mb by 2 near far end is always near end by 2 and same thing fixed here pinned here rotate in the anti clockwise once again your b is near end near end so the moment required is anti clockwise here mb equal to this is mb near end is important mb mb illi beda ma red al padithiya no ma red color ah, yes ma red color mb this is mb equal to 4 ei by l into theta here is theta b theta b then at a which is far end if it is anti clockwise here also anti clockwise you take a scale bend and see this is m a equal to 2 e i by l into theta b only that is your m a equal to half of m b or near end is 4 e i by l far end is 2 e i by l direction same as rotation this is also fully clear i will tell you the crude method now i will tell you the crude method tell me if this is fully clear i will tell you very easy method to remember tell fast very important if you if you are ready be ready for the crude method be ready for the crude method first tell me be crude means what easy method are you ready of course very effective so many people get confusion sir ella mix aagta ide i am there to clarify okay now see what you remember is see that is rotation here purpose is rotation here purpose is displacement rotation what prevented see now you should remember crude method these are purpose rotation purpose rotation rotation here this is purpose what there purpose is rotation here purpose is prevent rotation prevent rotation see crude method see when it goes this way you should see that this will still be fixed theta zero theta zero here is displacement that is secondary this is your purpose is rotation here purpose is preventing rotation 
but allowing for displacement clear here we want to displace with preventing rotation here we want to rotate right side we want to rotate left side we want to move uh, it is a movement but rotation prevented uh, clear or not what i told now be careful they are opposite uh, clear what i told just now now i will tell you easy method i will tell you easy method so that no confusion tell me clear or not what i told sinking case rotation to be prevented you tell clear sink delta case del sink rotation to be prevented but rotation means we want to rotate see i will do one thing now i will start from here don't go there start here you are driving a car you want to take right turn tell me if you want to take right turn how you turn you turn see suppose i am going here you want to take right turn you want the car to go take to take a clockwise turn tell me what do you do steering wheel also you turn what if you want to turn the car you turn the steering wheel also in the same or opposite direction suppose driving a car you want to turn on one side if your purpose is turning the rotation or turning the one more thing rotation or turning turning here preventing rotation means preventing turning preventing turning tell me if you want to turn either you want to your vehicle to turn are you rotating the steering wheel in the same direction or opposite first if you want to rotate see your car is going here you want your car to go this way tell me steering wheel what you do you rotate the steering wheel in the same direction or opposite first first you rotate the steering wheel in the same or opposite ittot be kelake same direction so if the purpose is rotation then same direction same direction this is the case of driving in a highway high speed you are going due to some obstruction some stone came or hump came due to some reason suddenly your vehicle goes displaced not turning it will what do you call it one word is there what do you call it the word so, suddenly if you stop going this way your vehicle moved perpendicular it went sideways your vehicle shifted sideways see you are driving here your car is going here suddenly vehicle turned this way tell me now do you turn the steering same way or opposite way tell me do you turn the steering in the same way or opposite way swaru okay okay you know due to some problem vehicle went sideways towards foot towards foot path suddenly instead of going this way in the road shifted at, along the width towards foot path or down stair full ground is there shift it got what as you go this way this way shifted tell me your steering should be turned to allow it or prevent it to allow it or prevent it your steering should be turned to allow for it or preventing it tell me to allow it or preventing it to prevent it if your vehicle goes this way if you steer that way what will happen you will go and fall down to the ditch correct high speed you are going suddenly this way oh yo 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 what you will do you will turn other way here preventing case displacement with turning prevented here here purpose is turning so last i will tell see here here i want to rotate clockwise so if you want to rotate clockwise ro apply clockwise moment 
if you want to rotate anti clockwise because this is what turning case this is your turning case you want to rotate anti clockwise rotate anti clock apply anti clockwise you want to rotate clockwise apply clockwise you want to rotate anti clockwise apply anti clockwise this is turning case turning case moment is in the same direction as you want to turn clear turning case is in the same direction as you want to turn fully clear i want to repeat fully clear turning case if you want to turn rotate clockwise apply clockwise moment if you want to rotate anti clockwise apply anti clockwise moment first clear clear whereas danger see here number is like this it is going this way see here it is going this way hey then don't go that way tell me my scale now i have to turn see it is going this way it is it is going out of the see out of the road if it goes this way how to prevent it apply clockwise or anti clockwise tell me see if it goes this way tell what to do apply clockwise or anti clockwise both hands if the member goes this way both hands apply what prevent it you want to prevent it apply what anti clockwise so see here you stand anywhere it is gone this way see here it has gone this way hey don't go there come back come back vehicle don't go to road footpath come back come back come back if the vehicle goes this way you rotate see if the vehicle when is when the vehicle is moving see when the ve when the vehicle is moving if you want to turn turn in the same direction that is this case but when a vehicle is moving suppose it slips ay 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 see slips this way no 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 come back here slips that side come back here see here see slip this way ay ay oh come back come back come back come back come back slip this way come back come back come back this is the preventing case that is turning case turning case same preventing case opposite turning case where you want turn number tell me where you want turn number turning case is ei by l preventing case is ei delta by l square tell me turning case is ei by l into theta preventing case ei delta by l square tell me where you want turn number 4 other side number half of that one how much other side number turning case not equal values other side number 2 preventing case both are equal number preventing case both are equal number preventing case delta case both are equal number 6 turning case where you want to turn 4ei by l theta other side 2ei by l theta preventing case both are 6ei delta by l square is the concept fully clear fpm starting from beginning what i told up to now everything crystal clear tell me everything all explanation given crystal clear then now next class i will take examples i will take point load center point load eccentric udl full span udl half span era very udl uniformly varying load couples where reversal will come then i will give example for delta also everything will be next class i think uh, i can take little more time now but today i talked in a very high pitch voice okay high voice i told i am also feeling tired so i will conclude today tomorrow's class the title will be what examples for finding fpms for required for sd method md method and kanis method clear okay thoroughly go through and prepare the very systematic note in a drawing sheet and preserve it okay thank you we will meet tomorrow